Good morning viewers. Um, yesterday was a disaster. It poured down all day. I've gone through a few little floods on the way to get here. This is a needle in a haystack kind of day for me. As you can see, this field is massive. Um, but I've had hammered off here. I've had a bullhead shilling off here and a few sixpences, so that's good. And beyond this field, one over the hedge, Chris has had a Bronze Age axe head. So I'm going to give this big field a little bit of a go, and then I may end up over there. I had um, three three silver in one day on that field so I know it's a good one but I'm gonna have a look on this one we very rarely come on here it's so big but let's give it a go yep we've kicked off the day with a clog glass which is good it's a sign of humans being on here a sign of profit losses I'm happy with that My next finds this quite decorated buckle. Um, I didn't bend it; it's, it was bent. But as you can see, it's it's quite decorated. Lovely, happy with that. Skip through this bit. Piece of wire. I thought for a minute then that I'd found another Bronze Age axe head. This one doesn't appear to be bronze. Can't be, can it? There's a bit too much crud. No, I don't think it is. But I'll have a look later. I forgot about these little things. We always find these on this field. Cars. Um, CC. And uh, I think that's cars as in the biscuit factory. Here's where I found the bag seal, and then there was my next target, which is this. I'm not quite sure whether it's a musket. No, it can't be a musket ball, it's too thin. Oh, it could be a pellet that's hit something, and then I think that's what it is. I think it's a pellet or a bullet that's hit something, and that would be the firing end. Yep, yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Well, first piece of lead for the day. Don't need to show you any more of that. And here we have it, first button for today. Can't show you any more unless they're worth looking at. Yep, another CC bag seal. Can't show you any more of them. I'm bound to find them. There's loads on this field. A whopping big pin. Let's move along. Okay, I'm going to tell you a tale now. Before I left home to come detective, Chris found a white feather on the floor. Obviously, it's come out of the stuffing of the cushion or maybe the leather settee. And he said, here, white feather, take that with you. So I put it in my pocket. It's still in my pocket as far as I know. And this just popped out. Does anybody believe in white feathers? This is a beauty. I'm really, really happy with this. 1894. Sixpence. So, yep. See a feather, pick it up, steal in your pocket. It's worked for me. It's the only coin I found today. And it happens to be a sixpence. Thrilled. It's not the word. I'm so happy. Curious piece. Set that off. Sorry. It's a curious piece. It almost looks like a, a little pistol or a cannonball. A cannon. Um, toy cannon. I don't know. It's got a, a loop. At the bottom, it almost looks like a toy pistol. 
I've absolutely no idea what this one is. Not terribly old, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to call that uh, the end of the video. Um, just had that one silver coin. In fact, I'm going to dig this before I go. Back to you in a second. Okay, so that's what I stopped for. Uh, almost looks like a swan, doesn't it? But it's not. I think it's a piece of... Um, yeah, it is. It's a piece of uh, furniture, a draw pull or something. Right, as I was saying, um, I'm going to call it a day. I'm at work tonight. Um, I've had that piece of silver, so it wasn't complete waste time. Weather's kept really nice, so I'm happy. I hope you're happy with what I'm putting out there. Um, I'm enjoying doing them, so I'd like to thank everybody that watches and subscribes, and I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm never going to get back to the car at this rate. Um, I keep stopping. Yeah, uh, first copper coin of the day. I'm still going to detect my way across. I think I've got plenty of time. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention is, um, this is Sunday, but on Friday I went looking for a plow disc. I didn't find it. I didn't do much filming. But I'll pop that on the end of this video for you to see what I did find. End of half pence. Car's about 10 yards away from me. Good morning, um, welcome to Bluticus Detects channel. Today we're on a different uh, area and we're on a mission, a mission to find a, a disc that's been lost on this field somewhere. Chris is going one way, I'm going the other and we're going to try and find this disc. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm absolutely jiggered. I thought I'd found it. I got that signal, massive signal. Thought that'll be it. No. Nah. On the plus side, um, wait for that to focus. I think this is a gold gilded strap end. It's got the, the bit where the strap would go. That's what I'm hoping it is. Certainly gilded. And it's very pretty. Get it closer. See, there's the flowers on it. Same on that side. And then, I think that's what it is. Okay, we're going to pack up now for lunch. I've got one length of the field to do. Um, I'm going to have some lunch and then we're going to try a different field. Yeah. I'd just like to add that um, that's not all that I found today. I found lots more. Um, seems to be a lot of um, YouTubes on here. Uh, I've had a cartridge. I've had a, a tap. All sorts of your usual rubbish, but I didn't show it because this mission is to try and find this plough part. Okay, 